you think you would let social media pick your colour of your car? What decals went on it? What wheels you fit to it? No. Oh, hell no! I probably wouldn't trust social media either, but that is exactly what Ford have done with their limited edition gold Puma ST. I love gold! Ford fans cast almost 275,000 votes in a series of polls on the brand's Twitter and Instagram channels over the course of 10 days, choosing colour combinations of elements including the model's paint, decals and brake calipers, even down to deciding its name, with Puma ST Gold Edition winning against Puma ST 24K Edition by just 9%. This thing is pretty awesome. Let's face it, the standard Ford Puma ST has been a really good seller, but they decided to do a run out of 999 limited edition Ford Puma STs in the gold edition. And this features some things like some limited edition decals with these gold stripes along the middle and the black stripe running along the center. You've also got a slightly more aggressive Ford Performance body kit. Or well, on closer inspection, mainly just a Ford Performance front splitter. And then you've also got these amazing 19 inch gold alloy wheels. And the same red brake calipers seen on the standard ST car. Now, if you said you were gonna take a black car, add some gold wheels and add a couple of gold stripes, a lot of people would think, oh no, you're gonna have ruined it. But I don't think that's the case at all. In fact, I think that the Ford Puma ST looks fantastic in this gold edition. Other than those external differences, underneath it's the same Puma ST, with the optional ST performance pack thrown in, which adds limited slip differential, launch control and a performance shift indicator. Around the back, you've got the extended rear spoiler, and then you've also got the Puma badge, which is murdered out all in black. It really looks good. You've also got a couple of twin tailpipes. The only thing for these tailpipes is I don't think they quite meet the aggression of the car. Let's face it, you can't beat the tailpipes on the Hyundai Kona. Those look fantastic, and these just look a little bit subtle. But do they sound subtle? Let's find out. That's what I'm talking about. The Ford Puma ST, including the Gold Edition, still gets a great amount of space inside the boot. The Ford Puma has one of the biggest in its class. Inside you'll find 456 litres. That's 164 litres more than the Fiesta that it's based on. It's also mega practical and offers something unique. Of course, because it has a little hidden secret and underneath here you have something that Ford call the mega box and this adds so much more storage to the Puma. On top of all that you also have a plug in the bottom so you can wash down muddy shoes or even muddy animals and run it out the bottom. I really think that is one of the most innovative ideas for a long long time. Inside, there's a few things that stand out the Puma ST Gold Edition from the standard ST, and that includes these seats. Rather than Recaro's, they're actually Ford Performance, which before I drove this car, I thought, that's a real shame, I really like a Recaro. But actually, these are just as good. Nice, thick wing backs with loads of support. They're leather around the outside, and then you also have this suede detailing with the two gold ribbons which run all the way along the bottom. You've also got the gold stitching around the seat and also on the steering wheel. And on top of all of that, if you wanted something else that just stands this car out, then it's got a plaque. Everybody loves a plaque. This is number three of 999, and every Ford Puma Gold Edition that you buy gets its own plaque with its build number. Other decisions decided via social media include these gold Puma door seals, and the interior features a flurry of carbon fibre and gold trim. 
It gets the usual infotainment system, which is sufficient, if a little bit boring in colour, and starting to feel just a tiny bit outdated. All the important bits are standard, like satellite navigation, CarPlay and Bluetooth, which includes over-the-air updates. Climate controls are physical and unoffensive, but could be argued they feel just a little bit cheap. There are four driving modes, Normal, Sport, Racetrack and Eco, with a button on the steering wheel for quick access to Sport mode. Now I made it very clear that I loved the Hyundai Kona N. The Puma ST is similar in the fact that it has two wheel drive, but of course the engine is not quite as powerful. So does that mean it's not as fun? Well, let's find out. ST Gold Edition gets the same 1.5 litre three cylinder turbo engine that's standard on the Puma ST. And despite the racing stripe, it still creates 197 brake horsepower and 236 pound feet of torque. An official 0 62 time is 6.7 seconds. Of course, there is one big difference when it comes to the Ford Puma ST over the Hyundai Kona, apart from lacking in a little bit of power, and that's the fact that the Ford Puma comes with a manual gearbox. Now, this definitely helps to add to the enjoyment. Yes, okay, I did like the fact that the Kona has it all handled for you, but you cannot deny that a manual box always just feels that much more engaging and makes it feel like a proper driver focused car. Now if there was anything that I could have predicted from driving the Ford Puma ST, Gold Edition or not Gold Edition, that was the fact that it was going to handle like a dream. Ford just have their handling absolutely nailed and the ST Gold Edition is no different. It's so sharp in its handling, body roll is kept to an almost minimum. This feels fantastic. One thing that surprised me is despite riding on 19 inch wheels, it's not actually too rough in its handling. Yes, okay, it is pretty stiff, but then that's what you want from a car which is designed to be sporty and designed to be engaging. But actually, it doesn't send shivers through your spine like it did on the Hyundai Kona. It's a little bit more compliant than that car. And it surprised me as well because the standard Puma, even the one litre version, once put in sport, can be a little bit rough. So I was worried that with the ST, they would have gone too far and it would have been almost too rough to handle. But actually, it's reasonably enjoyable. So what do you think? Pretty cool, right? This thing is quite awesome. I've really enjoyed it. I didn't think it would be quite as aggressive as it is. And I love this additional body kit. It's just such a shame that you can no longer purchase this car. All 999 vehicles are accounted for. So I'm so lucky to get my hands on this one today. What do you think of the Ford limited edition, gold edition Fiesta ST? Do you like it? Let me know in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed this video today, please go ahead and give it a massive thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos from me on Auto Social UK, then make sure you hit that subscribe button.